It's the I Can't Mom Today podcast with Heather, the new mom, and Vera, the <clears throat> seasoned mom. I Can't Mom Today. Hey, this is Vera and Heather back again with another episode of I Can't Mom Today podcast. Hi, Vera. Hey, Heather. Hey, kudos. I know we're just only like a couple seconds in, but I noticed you slowed down your intro. There. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I can't. I cannot. Um, I can't say that I'll, it will stick like that the whole time, but I'm working on it. I am working on it. Yes. Well, I understand because, uh, you know, your brain moves very quickly. So your your mouth is always trying to keep up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, and that's uh, not, a, that's just an observation that what that's not meant as a criticism. It's just no, no, the way gosh. you are. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I don't take it as a criticism in any way. Like that's okay, how good. I've been my entire life. Yeah. So. It's and luckily, uh, you know, being from New York, I'm used to people who talk really fast. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's why and... we understood each other from the get go. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's why I can understand my child. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, he mm. talks quickly, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so tell me, let's catch up. I feel like it's been a while, but it's not been a while. It's just a mess. Oh, I know. Well, literally today, at least here in Tallahassee is the first day back to school for public school anyway. Oh. Um, so, which is kind of odd to me to start on a Wednesday, but I mm. guess it's kind of nice because it kind of ramps you up, you know, you just yeah. have a few days and can kind of get acclimated and everything and then rest and then have a full week. So mm -hmm. I don't know what the logic was behind it, but anyway, so yeah, then Luke, I think it's you know, great. Since it's not a bad idea. It's just kind of odd to me, mm -hmm. you know, but, um, and then that means Luke has gone back to work, you know, cause he's an after school counselor at the karate school so mm -hmm. um so he was all excited to go back to work and see the kids and some returning kids and some new kids and mm -hmm. he's really gotten into getting to know the kids which is nice so that's good because that's what he does right right <laughs> <laughs> well it's such a nice thing too like i think i may have mentioned that you know that they have some young young men there instead of just mm -hmm. all young women as yeah. counselors, you know, so the little boys have somebody to look up to and or even little girls, you know, just yeah. some, some male energy. Definitely. So, so yeah. So I talked to him last night. He was preparing himself to go to work today. So nice. <laughs> you hear um, any noise in the background, Baker starts school tomorrow. Oh. So there's, and that's going to be our topic today is just talking about starting school because I, <laughs> He, well, starts he starts tomorrow. kindergarten. Right? Yes. He starts kindergarten. So this yes. is for real school. This isn't mm -hmm. preschool or daycare or whatever. This is, yeah. you know, kindergarten. So are you prepared? Because I thought no. I wouldn't cry first day of kindergarten mm -hmm. because I was like, oh, Luke's been in daycare, preschool, blah, blah, blah. I cried. Mm -hmm. Did I you cry? Or do you think you're going to cry? don't think so. I think Brad probably will if we're going to be honest. <laughs> but I don't think I will because I'm kind of, I think the first time something happens, you know, when you get a call. I think the first time a call happens from the school is going to be heart sinking because they're going to, they're going to get hurt. They're just, it's just natural, but I think yeah. it's going to sink my heart. And I think I'm a little nervous as I think a lot of other people are with just like the whole and trigger warning here, by the way. So if you, this is about school, just this little blip is about school violence. So like any there, you know, shootings and stuff like that, that terrifies me. Ah, uh, yeah, absolutely terrifies me. Yeah, oh, like that's yeah, where I, I am, like stressed to the max about like the other stuff. I'm like, yeah, he's, he'll be fine. He'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Sadly, that's in the back of I think most of our minds, mm -hmm. and which is really awful. But uh, well, <sighs> yeah. I well, I mean, I even when Luke and I went to the movies the other night, it even crossed my mind. I was like, mm -hmm. oh. I'm in a movie theater. Huh. Could be scary. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's stuff aside from what's on the screen. So, uh, I mean, well, and even here in Tallahassee, not too long ago, just a few years ago, you know, we had that shooting at a yoga studio, mm. you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, so really sorry not to freak us out even more, Yeah, but it could happen anywhere, not just school. <laughs> totally. 100%. So, I just, know, I, I just really get Ugh, stressed about that because I can't I can't be there you know what I'm saying like I can't be yeah. at least like you know if it happened somewhere else I would I would be there yeah um, so that's what stresses me out so uh not to that. 
So that's a huge concern for me. But then I was, you know, walking into the school year, like, da -da 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 -da. like I'm going to be, you know, we got his school list. Everything's on, on his purchase check. And then now I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do for lunch? Like lunch is something that like, I don't want, you know, I looked at the, I don't like school cafeterias just because I don't feel like it's a super healthy food. Not mm, that we not. Him would be because chicken nuggets aren't really healthy, but mm -hmm. it's just, I know can least buy organic stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm like, what if I want to send something hot to school with him? What if I want to send something cold? What, 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 what? Like it's just, <laughs> now I'm like kind of worried about all this stuff that I haven't been, I've just been like, whatever, it'll be fine. But at well, least we only have to get through two days, <laughs> two days of it this week to yeah. prepare better for next week, you know, whatever. Well, I have, I can give you a couple of my go-tos. Of course, it's been a few years since yeah, just was in kindergarten, couple, just a couple, just a couple. But um, you know, and you may have already thought of, of course, like go -Gurts, you know, of course you might want to get the organic, I'm sure there's an organic version of like a go -Gurt, you yeah. know? And those, and um, I used to get Morningstar Farms, the vegetarian chicken nuggets, which is not I just, like those. He doesn't like them. This kid is like super them. picky. Wow. Even I bought him some move. Morningstar, you know, uh, veggie breakfast patties. Cause I was like, oh, he doesn't really love eggs, but I'll, he'll, he'll consume them, but he doesn't love them. And so I was like, maybe I'll get this. And he took one bite. He's like, this is disgusting. Wow. Great. See, Luke liked those. I used to heat them up and wrap them up in aluminum foil and then and put them in his lunch. And so, I mean, I'm sure they weren't hot by the time he ate them, but they were at least, you know, semi-warm and cooked. And he didn't know that they weren't real chicken until just recently. <laughs> He's like, what? Those, mm -hmm. You mean those chicken nuggets? <laughs> so I'm trying to think. And then, of course, uh, Pirate's Booty. Remember mm -hmm. Pirate's Booty? Yeah. Yep. yep. Used to get him those all the time. You know, the little individual ones. That was kind of a treat. Mm -hmm. But for snacks, sauce. like for snacks, we can send in snacks, but he like eats up these things called Z bars. And then we have like the little big Newton kind of bars, but they're mm -hmm. two in a pack. And so we'll send those with them. But also I don't want him to just eat like processed food. So I don't right. know what to do. Well, so I now, also used to kind of do like my own Lunchables. Does he like, oh, like, I look at least totally like salami. No, he, he pepperoni is his. Okay. Uh, Oh yeah, he actually like had that for breakfast. Too. A giant stack of pepperoni. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pepperoni, and then I'd cut up pieces of cheese or you know whatever, and put that. Yeah, do like like you said, a charcuterie, kid yeah. charcuterie, Absolutely. instead of like the stupid lunchables because some of those like are filled with all kinds of crap, and it's mm -hmm. cheaper to do it yourself anyway. If mm -hmm. you just buy like a you know pound of salami, well you don't do salami, but pepperoni or whatever. Yeah, but it's just like these little things that I'm I'm I was like oh, we'll figure it out, and then I'm like. Ugh! It's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> exactly. I'll never forget, too, when I dropped Luke off. First of all, I don't think that Luke's kindergarten teacher uh, liked him very much because mm. uh, she had, she wasn't mean to him or anything like that. But mm -hmm. I just kind of felt like she had a little bit of an attitude. And I think it may be because she had Luke's older brother, his half brother. Oh, yeah. And, um, but, you know, They're not the same personalities. No, not at all. And Josh mm -hmm. is great. I mean, he's, you know, in his 20s now. So he's, you know, but and he's kind of a stinker. Like he's a little bit of a like he'll, he loves to needle people. He loves to mm -hmm. like just poke at you. So I think she was kind of like, oh, no, I'm going to have another Josh. And uh, so yeah, <laughs> there was it's that. exhausting. There was a, a bias there. And then, too, I can't believe, I still can't believe I said this. Like on the first day, I said to her, um, you know, cause I'd already met her because of orientation or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I said, so he ate a pile of blueberries for breakfast this morning. So the bathroom situation might be a little weird. <laughs> and mm. she just looked at me like, huh? Like, why are you telling me about his poop? Like, <laughs> yeah, because he's five. Sometimes if he eat, well, yeah, but she kind of looked at me like, uh, that's not my problem, you know? Yeah. But I just kind of wanted to let her know in case he was like, you know, I really need to go to the bathroom. You know, all that fiber from the blueberries kind of. Mm -hmm. It's going to go. <laughs> like, he's not like lying about this. <laughs> exactly. So that's kind of what I was trying to tell her. Mm -hmm. But she just looked at me. I'll never forget. Obviously, here we are 15 years later. And I was kind of like, um, yeah. Yeah. And then I cried. I walked away, sat in my car and cried. I yeah. heard really good things about his teacher from my favorite mom that I, that her kids are in the same classes Baker. And so, mm -hmm. um, I've heard really good things about her, 
the teacher. And we went to back to school night last night. And these kids were running around like crazy kids, crazy people, like legit, like, just, <laughs> and I was like, okay, this isn't my classroom. So I'll try to wrangle him as much as possible, but I don't want to step on her toes because this is her place. Like if she wants a kid to get comfortable and whatever. And then all of a sudden she's like, okay, kids stop where you're at pot freeze. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like she like knocked it. She's like, we're not doing this. This is level one. Talk to me in level one. I was like, oh, dang Whoa. girl, I'm respect. Yeah. So I and and so part. Okay, so we're coming at this part as a as a parent and part as a previous teacher. So my one of my friends was like, hey, we were leaving. Out, we're going to town uh, for a wedding. And it's gonna be, we're going to be gone two weeks. He's out of the country. It's not like just a, oh, we're just going to hop over to California for the weekend or something. So mm-hmm. it's a, it's a big thing. And so she's like, how do we tell her? I was like, ask her, ask the teacher. Cause each teacher is going to be different. And so the school district we're in, they're like, if you want to extend a vacation, like that's your deal. Like mm-hmm. they will make up the stuff when they get back. The teacher isn't going to assume that responsibility, which I think mm-hmm. is really cool because it, as a previous teacher, I remember they're like, we're going out of town for a week in Disney. I'm like, oh, okay. I haven't even thought about next week's stuff. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, like I knew the general plan, but like what I was going to do day to day, like wasn't even on my radar. I was like, no, sorry. 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 Yeah. Uh, so I like that policy, but at the same time, as a parent, I know that I would like to have some things that we're doing with him to keep him engaged, but then, then maybe just ask for the topic. What's the topic? Look at what they're doing in school. Look at their take-home stuff mm-hmm. and find how you can extend that on your own. And right. there are so many things out there on your own because it is choice you're making. So, and sometimes you can't, when it's really important things, it is, it is what it is, you know? Yeah. And so don't feel bad about it either as a parent, just if the, if the, if the kids, if the school district has a policy, if teacher has a policy that they can't prepare that work ahead of time because they do have a lot of stuff. They have Mm -hmm. dozens of other students besides your student. And so asking for them to prepare that ahead of time is really hard. You can say, Hey, you, you know, what do you, what do you want me to, you know, is there, can you give me just a general idea what you're teaching or even like they have standards, you know, every, every school uses standards. So ask for the standard that they'll be covering for those courses and you can do the work on finding stuff. Right. Right. Well, that's, that not, my suggestion. You know, that's not a bad idea. Like you said, coming at it as a parent and or a former teacher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and also um, she was concerned about like reading scores. So tests. So I don't like tests. I hate standardized tests. I hate them. I hate them. Mm-hmm. I, hate them. I, hate I, them do, I will. My philosophy right now is that I'll probably take my, take Baker off t- standardized testing. I will not have him take that standardized test because I just don't care. I don't want him. I don't care. Like that doesn't tell me what he knows. That doesn't tell me who he is. That doesn't tell me anything. It tells me how he takes a test and so, how he applies whatever knowledge. So, but so he doesn't have to take them. You don't have to. No, ah. mm-hmm. you can opt out. I, don't know if it's I mean, like they, they make it hard. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like the districts yeah. make it really hard to opt out, but no, uh-huh. they don't have to take it. Oh. You can't require like, no. Yeah, so, I used to hate those things too, it, both as a kid and a parent. I mean, but I think they put it a lot back on you as a parent, like, okay, well then you'll have to have your kid home during these days or whatever. And it's mm-hmm. like, okay, okay. Yeah. I'll do yeah. that. I just don't, I don't care. So um, then we have, so I, I, anyways, so she was asking, she's like, at the end of the year, her test score wasn't really good in reading, but she she's a really good reader actually. And it's like, well, she's like, should I tell the teacher? Cause blah, 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 history, history, history. And I said, you can certainly warn the teacher, but honestly, that's going to be so much information for the teacher to know. I was like, they're going to do testing on them when they first get in and, you know, do benchmark pre- testing. They're going to see the, the actual capabilities in small group lessons. I was like, so if, if she gets put in or he gets put in to a different group than you think that they should be, just give it, give it like a week or two. In that mm-hmm. group. And if they're still in that group, then, then talk to the teacher, but she, the, the teacher should be looking at the, at the abilities on an ongoing basis. So it's not something that they're like, okay, you're in purple forever. Right. So, 
Well, it'll, um, I wonder if too, if Baker may, may, um, is how he's going to react to being in kindergarten because kindergarten is a little more structured than preschool. So curious to see how that's going to fly with I, him. I am too. I am too. <laughs> we were, I'm interested, but we'll see. I think, I think he'll do good. I think it's just the keeping him away from that, from kids that are going to rile him up and he mm-hmm. will rile that rile up their kids up. So I don't think I'm I, other kid. I don't think I blame <laughs> any of anything. Um, other people, he does just as much riling as, or whatever the word is. Right. That other people he, do. He, he's as guilty as the other kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, Luke, I think if I remember correctly, did pretty well in kindergarten. Um, because I think he liked that there was, even though his preschool was really good, he did pretty well in preschool too. Um, but, you know, again, he liked having a lot of stuff to do. And the teacher, despite the fact that I felt like she was a little, you know, she had some bias towards him, um, she was a pretty good teacher. So, you know, I think it was, the only bad part was, oh, I almost forgot about this. What? Was he got in trouble because he pulled his pants down in the cafeteria line. Oh, I, I, we always talk about that because Baker does stuff like that at home. I'm like, now do we do that at school? No. Yes. So of course I had to get the, you know, like the meet with the teacher and like an email from the principal or whatever. And then of course his father gave him a hard time about it for years, years. And I was like, dude, a five-year-old kid, they do that. Honestly, I mean, I remember kids doing that all the time. You know, it wasn't like he was trying to be surreptitious. He was like, hey, check it out. You know, can what can you what does that word mean? Surreptitious? Yeah. Like sly. Like okay. he wasn't trying to be like, hey, psh, come over here. I got something to show you. It was more There's like just a word. It's a word that like I just didn't know. Oh, hey, you learn something sense. new every day. Yes. I'm a more, I'm a more five cent nickel, nickel word time type of girl, you know. <laughs> okay, Joey. <laughs> word of the day, toilet paper. Sorry. Friends reference. <laughs> I was thinking Joey from Blossom. Oh, <laughs> and then I got Yeah, That's it. a different one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Different Joey. <laughs> or Joey's. Yeah. Um, what mm-hmm. else do we have to know? Like I, oh, you know what I wish PTOs had or PTA, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What they're called. Parent teacher people. Or yeah, I signed up for it, by the way, because I'm I'm oh, going to be involved because yeah. like I just, yeah, I just want to be involved. Yeah, that's great. Um, But also I wish there was like a mentoring program. Oh, but, like you an mean older parent, you know, not like mm-hmm. my age older, but like an older, a, a parent of an older kid partners with a kindergarten kid. And their parent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Just oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. With the okay. like, with the sorry, with the parent, not the kid. Oh, okay. Um, kid partners with the parent to kind of walk them through what's you know what to expect, where you need to go. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. It's a great idea. I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to do that. Just because yeah. I mean, because it's so hard. I mean, it's so hard to know yeah, everything. There's a lot to navigate. Yeah. Well, and I often think about people who have more than one kid and, you know, the amount of paperwork that one kid generates mm -hmm. and then you have more than one. I've always marveled at that, like the amount of paperwork it is for school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. So I think if you are on a PTO, PTA that already does a mentoring, please reach out to me because I want to know about it. Yeah, I I I want to answer the podcast. I want to implement it for sure. Yeah. That's, I think that's a really good idea for sure. Yeah. And I will help you if you have questions about it, email us and I will tell you what I'm doing. I mean, I haven't turned anything because I'm just starting the school. <laughs> so give me a, give me a couple months. <laughs> All right. All but you can email us at I can't mom today podcast at gmail.com. Yes. And find us on Instagram and Facebook. I can't mom today podcast. And there's on Facebook, there's a page and there's a group and the group is a private group. You just ask to join it because we wanted to keep it private so people can speak their minds and not, not it's only within the group. Yeah, of course. Until next time. Bye. Bye.